Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a get ready with me and follow me around and go on my date with me because Yeah, no, that's what we do here. So this is the final look for the hair and the makeup So if you want to watch it stick around my goodness. I have a, the dirtiest mirror in the world. I think good possibility I think I do <sighs> All right, so I already moisturized my face when I got out of the shower because it was dry Dry, dry, dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Smashbox Photo Finish. Um, I am in love with this stuff. There's nothing else to say about that. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else to really say. This stuff is a lifesaver. I have little hairs everywhere, which is just great. And uh, I just wanna preface this because I'm sure I'm gonna get people saying it as they uh, watch this like I am a professional makeup artist I'm a paramedic I know how to do that very well I think I'm decent at makeup but I'm by no means like I don't know what I'm doing I have learned how to do makeup within the last two years because if you would have asked anyone who went to high school with me girl that was a mess so Makeup never really thought that I did, um, and so it wasn't until you know YouTube to now I'm like, oh hey, I kind of know how to do this. So for a foundation, I love Kat Von D's Locket. Um, I'm in cool white, and my I don't know why I just tried to show you because it's gonna flip it around, but um, this stuff is like coverage to the max. If you're not wanting like my face is now all of one color. This is not your, this would not be your cup of tea. So don't try it. Um, I normally use the Tarte Shape Tape. I know a lot of people hate this um, in Fair Beige, by the way, because I'm, I'm pretty pasty. Um, I know a lot of people knock this stuff. I really, really love it. Now you can't, I have found that these two things don't mix. I wish they did, but they don't. It separates on my nose and my um, chin, but for some reason, um, the photo finish primer moisturizer seems to work um, but I'm out of this as you can see it's like gone and my box shows up on tomorrow Yay! and just like that camera problem so back trying to do foundation um, it's hard to do because I'm trying not to like stare straight down oh look now I'm gonna Um, I'm gonna try not to block too much, but I'm going out in public today. That moment your husband walks in on you filming. Uh, my face is all one color. I like to pretend like I know how to contour, and I'm gonna be using your finger tart shape tape. Um, and I'm fair neutral in this, and I I just do like down my nose, a lotus on my forehead, cause why not? Um, I do do my under eyes because I do have um, some serious darkness under my eyes. That's like a constant thing, cause sleep is overrated so my sleep totally just saw me use a whatever um I don't use too too much um uh, not foundation girl I caked that foundation on like a German chocolate cake I don't even know I was going with that um I don't use too much concealer underneath my eyes I know that like you'll see like Jaclyn Hill or Laura Lee just like 
make giant triangles and they must have like their next level blenders or something because I feel the life of me could not blend that away. It would just live on my face. It would just be a part of my face at that point. So that, I don't know. I don't know how you do that. That's like some voodoo. Next level voodoo. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna be going in with the tar tarty <sighs> tartiest glow. Um, and I'm extra and do cream and then uh, powder later. So I'm gonna go in with literally, oh, and don't mind the mess. I'm gonna be going in with the shade, it's the only cream color. give myself cheekbones since your honey has curves but not in her face. It's one big potato. Cause I'm blocking you guys again, sorry. I'm sure you guys have seen Sailor J's uh, contouring video since that's resurfaced and kind of is going around the internet, but let me tell you, honey, if you're watching this or if you for some reason ever stumble upon this, we are friends and we need to be friends, like, no joke, you are hilarious. Okay. Um, for setting my face. I got this from Tati. I can't stop using it. I use the Cape Cody Airspun um, and just in like the naturally neutral. I have tried a lot of different setting powders and have had a lot of unsuccessful trials and tribulations with said setting powders. Um, mostly because like, and I, I fell in love with uh, Tarte has an Amazonian clay powder that I felt made my face look fabulous, but if you try to take a photo, you were Casper, and that's just not the look I'm going for. I'm already pale enough as it is. Um, I don't need powder salt. Um, also, yes, I do bake my nose a little bit. Um, I touch it a lot, so I'm trying to preserve I also do my chin. Don't judge me. Um, so I think we're gonna go with today, while well, this is kind of like baking and I look like Casper. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my Naked palette and Jaclyn Hill palette. I literally, when I'm using, uh, when I'm doing the look that I'm gonna do today, I only use one color out of the Jaclyn Hill palette. Just punch myself in the face with palettes now. Um, but there isn't a good enough, let me not say that, there isn't the color that I'm looking for in the Naked palette, so, yeah, no. We gotta mix and match today. I'm just gonna start by taking off the excess, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn back around and set the rest of my face. terrible so I'm like sitting here trying to Boom. all right um, so I've been stuck on the urban decay eyeshadow primer I don't know why I'm doing this like I'm fancy with the model focus because I'm not so I'm gonna pretend it um, and I use this on my eyes before we do anything you know what that's all I nope I do eyebrows but um, I don't do eyebrows well, so I'm going to go ahead and do those off camera really quick because um, I just can't. I can see that when we get back. 
um, but I do use all of the um, Benefit, uh, and I use shade three because I decided to. I used to have red hair, um, and I decided to try and dye it um, gray by myself. Uh, Brad Mondo, <laughs> you would have laughed. Uh, so now I've got this weird, and you'll see when I put it down and go to do my hair. I have blue hair, and then like this dark going on. I don't know what this is, so it doesn't look great. So now I've upped my eyebrow game. So <laughs> you know, be right back. So, as you can see, I look kind of scary with eyebrows and nothing else done, but uh, this is what happens. So, back to the whole eyeshadow primer thing, you'll see that um, I like to spread it out with another pencil, and I'm, you're just going to have to forgive me because I don't know, well, maybe, A, okay. I go in with another pencil and kind of spread it out just because I feel like that helps get all over coverage. Um, well, bam. Mm -hmm. Close enough. we're gonna go oh my god I would have cried like a baby one big baby ah uh, like I said we're gonna go in with the naked three palette um and on a big dome blending brush we're gonna go into limit don't know if you can hear my child in the background give me just one moment this is gonna suck to edit okay let's try that again um so we're gonna go in with um, limit. Um, we're just gonna be taking that. Let's see if I can do this. Like, haha! -ha. All right, just gonna be going right up, right above the crease. I like defining my crease a little bit more. Um, so we're going right above the crease. You can see. lots of blending and I might dip in just a little bit more yeah let me see maybe I can zoom you guys in which might be terrifying all right no because well you know what we'll work with it so and then on another blending brush we're gonna go in with the color Nooner. And we're actually gonna work that right into the crease. Um, and so it's kind of right below the first color. And I just use windshield wiper motions until I get over into uh, this corner over here. And then I kind of do little swirls to try and blend it all out, as you can see. Alright. One would think that I'd have all my brushes that I'm using for the day, like, out and about. You would think I would be more prepared than that, but... Alright, so next we're going to go into the color... Whoop! Liar. And we're going to be putting liar on the outside third and the inside third of your actual uh, lid. So you don't want to bring it too far up. I go ahead and take in another small little blending brush. 
and we're gonna go ahead and go into the color, ooh, what is this called? Dark side? And we're gonna work that into the outer V. I'll get used to it, I promise. Um, I'm gonna try to really darken this. You can bring it up into the crease and a little bit onto the lid to darken up. Just wanna make sure that everything's blended out really well. Okay, and to just darken it up just a tidbit more, we're actually gonna go into this dark shade out here. I actually have been using this. It might be dark heart, but don't quote me on that. And I'm actually just using the exact same brush as before. Um, before I go into it, accomplishing the same task. And I'm just gonna blend that out. And I kind of drag down, like after I've worked it really well, I'm going to go ahead and drag it down underneath the eyelid to kind of make that continuity. Um, then I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go back into Nooner and then continue to draw some color out the rest of the eye. And that is actually all that I use out of the Naked palette. And then I'm going to go ahead, because I don't have a lot of workspace here, just a little bit. Okay. And so I go into, um, the Jaclyn palette. I'm going to try and show you this. I use this color Obsessed, and it's, I'm obsessed with Obsessed. Um, just can't get enough of it as everything falls down and I'm all out of things so I use this flat brush and I go ahead and put my max fix plus on it which has definitely seen better days put a couple sprays on it just because it's more like a you know it's like a glittery color and I really want to pick up all that pigment and I'm actually gonna put this bringing it all the way Adding it to the center of the eyelid, but then once the majority is there, I will come in all the way to the crease. I just want to make sure I keep a defined line and then slowly pat out here where it's darker. So you see, I have a defined line. That's pretty much all I do here. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys back out and finish the other eye off camera and that's a look. Let me finish the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, both eyes are done. Um, I do go in with um, the Thrive Cosmetics. I don't even know what color this is, quite honestly. Stella. And I just put a little of this on the uh, inner corner of my eye just because I think it makes them pop. It makes them look so darn pretty. And ever since I got this in a FabFit bun, bun box, I want to say, um, I can't stop using it. So, how the cookie crumbles, I guess. All right. So now I'm gonna go in, and if I can find the right eyeliner, here it is. Um, I use Kat Von D's tattoo liner in black, and I just go over the. Uh, eyelid. I don't. I'm not doing a, a wing today at all. Um, because I'm gonna wear falsies. Sorry, guys. I tried out eyelash extensions. For a little bit, and uh, uh, I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, 
I'm apparently a violent sleeper. Because it never failed that I would wake up the next morning and be missing like half my eyes. That's just not a good look. So I've been using, and I use a lot of lip scents. I've been using lash scents here recently just as a like first coater um, before my falsies to give them because I have um, naturally blonde hair. And so if I don't put something on my eyelashes, um, you would definitely be able to tell against the uh, black false eyelashes. So I give these a good coat because um, I really like this. Man, I'm just dumping things everywhere today. I really like this mascara. Um, it's not clumpy. It's very elongating and very stark black and I will say it will stick with you all day long. So if you're looking for something that is going to last for a while, um, this is your, this is your ticket. It also makes them really long without clumping, which is, um, a giant bonus for me at least. Um, I really love when things don't clump. <laughs> One would think that would be obvious. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to throw on eye my eyelashes. I have been in love with, I want to say this is called Pure. Um, they're sold at Ulta. Pure Pro eyelashes. Uh, I use the color, or the color, Style Diva. Um, they're kind of wispy, but not too, not too, too wispy. If that makes sense at all. Um, Alright, so right as I tried to put on that eyelash, my husband walked in and I quit filming so that you know. No one was on here that didn't want to be. So you guys kind of missed out on that eyelash and it's kind of jacked up right now. Um, it's like, I don't know, it's not sitting right on my eye so it's kind of annoying. So here's hoping that the next one is like flipped. It is though. I don't know what's happening here. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of whatever this is happening over there. Um, I think I'm dancing as if I have music playing on here and I don't. In case you're wondering. Oh, I'm right. <laughs> having more troubles with eyelashes today than I ever do. And I guess that's some Murphy's Law going for me because I'm recording, isn't it? Alright, well finally. It's like... I don't know why that was so hard for me today. Alright, so now while these dry, because they're not 100% dry yet down, um, I'm going to go back in with that Tardiest Pro Glow. And this time I'm going to go on to the dry side of Sculpt. Sculpt. And uh, go ahead and do my dry contour or attempt. cheekbones I will cut down here at some point I saw it somewhere that it worked and no looking back no regrets I thought I heard the husband sneaking back in again you like mm -mm, you go all right so I use a fan brush because I like to feel fancy 
literally the only reason I use it. And I have been going into Stunna over here. Right on the tops of the cheeks. And on the nose. And then right above my lip on my cupid's bow. And Shine to the heavens today, right? Alright. So then for blush, I just take a Bare Minerals. It's in the shade TTYL. And I just have a little tiny. Couldn't even tell you the brand. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face before I go on to the lips. And I use the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And a little tip that I learned was if you spray your whole face, and I wanna say this is again a little Laura Lee tip, and you wanna blot it with your um, beauty blender, you just kinda press that setting spray in. Oh, honey, we're going all out with the setting spray today, apparently. with two Kylie lip kits which is so weird because I'm not normally a Kylie fan I actually bought let's see I originally bought this it's in her red velvet it was part of her birthday collection I want to say um and it's but I love I love a good red lip and then this is the best nude you have ever ever found and it wasn't until like I used this and wrote it off as like all right Kylie it was all about the hype Kardashian whatever um and then this color came out and this one is uh Coco K it is the most beautiful color ever. Um, can't stop using it. So I think we're actually gonna go with a red lip today. Mm. I'm wearing, you can't see it, it's chill in the background. Um, like a crop sweater today. Um, so I'm hoping that it looks good with the crop sweater. If not, you'll see me with a different color lip later. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I know, I go a little crazy with it. Forgive me. So now we're gonna go in with the actual Lippe lippe. I got a lot of excess because for some reason this one didn't come with a good like strainer thing. gonna be a hot mess express we're just gonna work with it um and now i'm probably gonna go and eat and ruin this red lipstick so yay um i will check in with you guys when i'm done with hair maybe while i'm doing hair and then final outfit and then maybe i'll let you guys follow me around we might go to dinner i'm hoping for panda because i'm a panda junkie so i'll see you guys in a bit all right so change lip colors because i epically killed my red i tried to eat an egg roll it makes a lot of sense to eat right before you leave to go to dinner but i'm no, no, I have no excuses. I love to eat. So I ate an egg roll and like the red just went everywhere. So now I'm wearing KK Co. and it seems to be doing better. And I'll let you guys know. And he's gonna be stuck in a lot more filming. Let me get your head actually in there. That would help, right? Yeah, you can just cut my head off. It's okay. You don't need to see the whole thing. Shh. No. So, yay for adventures. Please tell me. Like, don't get me wrong, the orchestra was great, 
right? Yes. Horrible angle, don't care. But not one! No, no, hold on. That one's, that's, that one's not as bad, so. Oh, oh, just, just kidding. Hey guys, I, I went to the orchestra and broke both my shoes. I'm done, I'm done. When your husband loves you, because we had to stop and get Taco Bell. <laughs> Winning. No. <laughs> are, you, are you good? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, so it can creepy. Okay. Creepy. All right, so we're back and we have food to eat because I'm starving. I don't know about him, but. I mean, I've already got one like half unwrapped over here, so um, it's time for me to stuff my face and attempt to uh, relax for the night. So you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.